Hello everybody, welcome to All Things Nautical. In this video we will be looking at a sailing question, a sailing calculation, and we'll be dealing with a shorter distance. So in this case we've got a distance at less than 600 miles. So we will be doing a, a mean latitude plane sailing question. So what we need to find is the true course and distance between the following positions. Now there's our starting positions over here. So we're going from A, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, west of Greenwich, to another position, which is also in the Northern Hemisphere and west of Greenwich. Now we'll see if you're looking at these values over here, we've got about three, three degrees, two and a half to three degrees, and about four degrees change there. So that already indicates to us that we're not going to have a very big distance covered. So the distance may be about 200 or 300 miles. So if that's the case, we'll be using mean latitude plane sailing. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. So what we need to do is we actually need to find, again, just like for Mercator sailing, we need to find the, the difference in, in latitude, in degrees, and also in minutes. And then we'll find the difference in longitude in degrees and also in minutes. So if we're going from 5 degrees 48.2 minutes north to 8 degrees 12 minutes north, we will be traveling for a total distance or a total value of 2 degrees 23.8 minutes north and that degree value we can multiply by 60 and that basically tells us that we've covered 143.8 minutes north which we also know is equal to a nautical mile so in essence we've covered 100 well we traveled north by 143.8 miles now for longitude we'll do a similar thing so we're going to go from 42 degrees 46.1 minutes west to 46.57.8 west and that basically gives us then a change of 4 degrees 11.7 minutes and we'll multiply that by 60 which will give us 251.7 minutes west. Now what we need to take note of is that this value over here, this is very important, this value over here, this 251.7 that minutes there does not equal a nautical mile. And the reason for this is with the curvature of the Earth taken into account, um, the meridians, in fact, as we know, they converge at the poles. So they come up from the equator, they go up towards the pole, and as they come closer to the pole, they eventually converge. So in essence, the angle between the two meridians, even though the angle never changes, the distance in between two meridians in miles actually decrease the further you go towards the pole. So the further you travel from the equator, either north or south, you will actually have a greater deviation between the longitude and departure. So departure, if we're looking down here, departure is actually the distance covered in miles in either a westerly or an easterly uh, direction. So it's the horizontal distance covered on the, along the same parallel of latitude, and that distance is then given in miles. So this is in, in actual fact that we need to find. So we need to now say, okay, we've got a D longitude, but we know that D longitude is not measured in miles. So we need to try and convert that D longitude into a departure. And this distance in miles, we can then use in conjunction with D latitude in order to find our actual distance that we've sailed. So how are we going to find departure? The first thing we need to do is we actually need to find the latitude um, that's more or less in the middle between A and B. So this is A down here and B, so we're going in, in a northwesterly direction, as we know. So our mean latitude must be somewhere in the center here, our average latitude. And that is actually what we are going to find. So the first thing we need to find is a mean latitude. And how do we do that? So we're going to say, okay, the first latitude here, latitude A, plus half of the change in latitude, so half of D latitude. That will then give us to a point, will lead us to a point that is midway between A and B. So we're going to take latitude A, 5 degrees 48.2 minutes. And to that we will add half of the D latitude, which will be 1 degree 11.9. And that's then going to give us an actual latitude, a mid latitude or average latitude or mean latitude of 7 degrees 00 0.1 minutes north. Now this value over here. That mean latitude we will now use to calculate departure. So the formula that we'll use in this case is the following. It says departure 
equals d longitude in minutes multiplied by the cosine of mean latitude. So mean latitude, we just calculated there, it's 7 degrees 0 0.1. So we get the cosine of that will be a fairly high number, 0 0.99 approximately. So it'll be a fairly high number. Multiply that by the D longitude, which is 251.7 west. And that then will give us a value of 249.8. So because we're so close to the equator, uh, we're still fairly close to the equator, so there's not a significant difference between the actual D longitude and the departure, but here we can already see a small deviation. And the further north we go, or the further south we go, um, if we're in the southern hemisphere, then the greater that deviation actually becomes. So we've got a departure here of 249.8 miles west. So that now gives us a value on our x axis of 249.8. Then we already have an, a value on the y axis in D latitude, which we know is in miles of 143.8. So all we've got to do now is we're going to say, okay, if we have this value, this departure, and we have a D latitude, that means we can actually find the course angle. So the course angle um, tan of theta, the tangent of theta, will be equal to departure divided by D latitude, opposite over adjacent. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use that formula. Tan theta equals departure over D latitude. And that's then going to give us a theta value of 60.07 degrees. Now this, I'm going to take that T out because this is in fact not a true course. So that is just a theta, that's just an angle. So it's the, the angle from north going westwards towards our true course. Because our direction there is north and west. So it's from north measuring westwards by, by about 60.07 degrees in order to actually find our true course. That's what we're looking for is this true course over here. So to do that, we're going to say north, theta, west. So at 360 degrees, which we know is north, we're going to take 360. We're going to subtract 60.07 from that. And that will then get us to our actual true course, which will now be, in this case, 300 degrees true. So it's rounded down to the nearest half. Um, so in this case, it will become 300 degrees true. So that's half of our answer. And the last thing now we need to do is actually find the distance. And that's really straightforward. So if we distance, we're taking this hypotenuse side over here of the triangle. So we're going to say um, cosine of theta. So cosine of our course angle must be adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine theta equals d latitude divided by distance. So if we manipulate that formula a bit, then we also know that in that case, then, then distance must in fact be equal to d latitude divided by cosine theta so we'll take that formula distance equals d latitude divided by cosine theta and simply plug our values in there and that's going to then give us an actual distance covered of 288.25 miles so it's still a fairly short distance less than 600 and that means that this calculation can still be considered fairly accurate if we had a, a huge distance here, or a greater distance here, greater than 600 miles, we covered a distance, let's say, um, up to 4,000 or 5,000 miles, and we've got these uh, big trans, trans um, ocean voyages, then of course we would be using Mercator sailing, and then the calculation changes a bit. So this is a mean latitude plane sailing calculation, and this is basically to find true course and distance um, between two positions. I'll see you guys next time. I hope this was useful. If you've got any questions or queries, feel free to leave them in the comment section or to just send me an email. See you around.